In this video, we will look at solving absolute value equations, where we have more than just x inside the absolute value. As before, once the absolute value is completely alone, there are two possible results that could come out of this absolute value that would give us the 7. This stuff inside the absolute value... I'll just make it a box for now. That stuff inside the absolute value could equal 7, or the stuff inside the absolute value could equal negative 7. And just like before, when we used to say x equals 7 or x equals negative 7, now we're going to take that entire equation, 2x minus 1 equals 7, or 2x minus 1 equals negative 7. And we will end up with two equations left to solve. We can solve each of these two equations quite quickly because we're very comfortable with solving two-step equations. Adding 1 to both sides to the first equation gives us 2x equals 8. And finally, dividing both sides by 2 tells us that x equals 4. Similarly, we can solve the other equation, again, by adding 1 to both sides, giving us 2x equals negative 6. And finally, dividing both sides by 2 to get x is equal to negative 3. Notice again, because there was an absolute value in the problem, we ended up with two solutions, 4 and negative 3. The way we set up these problems is when the absolute value is alone, we simply say all of this stuff inside the absolute value, whatever it is, is equal to both positive 7 and negative 7, and solve that equation for our two solutions.